Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 7 of our Feed the Beast Neotech series. Today guys, I want to finish off here in the LV age and progress swiftly into the MV age. Mainly getting our electrical quarry here online and then a few more things to finish it off. I'm jumping ahead there in the quest book, but yeah, there's just a few more things here in our quest book to finish off. Now, we don't need to do them all quite yet. However, a lot of these will be necessary for MV progress. But like the advanced large steam boiler, I'm not in a rush to get it at the moment. But we definitely need to get our hands on our first electronic circuit. And I have been making some battery alloy in here, yes. And I've gone ahead and placed down my first electric furnace. And I also reset up my EBF over here. I haven't actually used it because we might have a better way of processing aluminum here soon because right now we're using a block of bauxite to get aluminum ingots however we can use bauxite dust in the electrolyzer to get 10 to 4 however we can't craft an electrolyzer at the moment without making a electronic circuit and a large pump obviously so yeah this is not in the quest book i don't believe not sure why they don't include it it might be in the mv one to be fair electrolyzer distillery electrolyzer okay yeah it's here oh it's because you need a large pump to create it but i don't think there's anything about a large pump that's specifically mv age unless you need the advanced M machine home no you just need a basic one yeah i don't know why that quest's locked behind there because you don't need an advanced M machine hall to make any of this it's a very weird place to lock the quest but i guess just because you need a large pump afterwards hmm yeah i'm not entirely sure but that's what we're going to be making to get better aluminum yields. At the moment, we have 175, so I'm not too worried about that, though. And one more thing I did. I set up a second LV steam turbine alongside two more storage units. I can only do two because tr I can't transfer the cables back around like this. I also put up plated iron blocks like I said I would. And I don't mind the look of these. It's not the exact texture, so it looks kind of off. But, oh, don't zoom in on those. That texture looks weird zoomed in on. Anyways. But yeah, I, I think it looks fine. It's symmetrical now. It looks nice. I haven't moved any of my fire clay bricks over, but I had added more redstone in here just so we can get some redstone going. And I have this redstone receiver we got from request. And that is simply so I can turn this guy on and off wirelessly. I can make multiple of these transmitters and I can turn, say if I don't have power, right? Oh, look, now I can start making power again because I ran out of steam. I can just look at my steam boiler say oh yep i'm out of steam gotta run my thing but at the moment where we got plenty of steam that thing's pretty much full so i don't need to needlessly run my boiler however i do have like 17,000 wood over there so i could let this thing run infinitely without any worry but there's just also no point because the crit the what are these called the coke ovens are full anyways so there's nowhere for the wood to really go <laughs> okay we should have everything here to make the circuit now but just to double check, I'm going to pull everything out that we have, and then we can see. It is unfortunate that it doesn't recognize this as inventory, obviously, but it makes sense. It doesn't, obviously. Okay, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing the dope silicon plates. Right. That is part of the quest. But it's saying I should need... Hmm. Why do I need them? I'm only trying to make an electronic circuit, correct? Oh, it's for the transistors and the diodes. Right. But, okay, so this quest is backwards. Because you can't make... Wait a minute. Am I going crazy? You need a chemical reactor to make the dope silicon blades. A chemical reactor requires electronic circuits. To make the transistors and diodes, you need doped silicon blades. And to make these, you need doped silicon... Is there another way to make them? Oh, there is. Duh. Okay, here we go. Never mind. I was... It's... Yeah, never mind. You can... I'm going to favor this recipe. That's why. Okay, we'll do this again. So, this, that, and search. Why is it... What's still trying to use this? Wait a minute. Oh, it's the diode. Right. Uh, so does default. There we go. And then expand that. And then just shift-click it to set the default recipe. Cool. Yep. Okay, that should be everything. Nice. And so what do I need now? I'm missing electrum fine wire, electrum cable, and this. So that I can craft. And then I need some silicon plates and some electrum fine wire. So silicon. I'm going to have to cook some up. 
and then Electrum. That's pretty easy to do as well. I don't have a wire cutter over here, do I? No, unfortunately I don't. So I will cook some silicon up, head back over to my base, get some Electrum wire, then it will be right back. Ouch. And I did go ahead and harvest the Surtis Quartz again. However, they are really, really, really slow. So I do really want to get the Crystal Growth Accelerators up at some point today, hopefully, just so we can move on with those and not have to worry about them constantly. That should be everything. So we'll grab one battery, two transistors, two diodes. Whoops. Doesn't like being in the inventory. That's unfortunate. So this is our first electronic circuit board. We haven't made one of these before. So that should be quest complete. And we get eight more for that. That's really nice. And we also get eight electronic circuits. So that is a win. And then I can make one of these. There we go. But we have our first electronic circuit now. It's side questing time. Now, I was planning to make the electrolyzer and rush all that. However, I am too often finding myself needing to go to my base over there and run back. And while my horse down there is very useful, it just isn't fast enough for me. So I want to go ahead and make the teleporter from simple teleporters. Now I've read in, you just need two teleporters and two ender shards. These are pretty easy using the ender pearl and blaze powder to smelt them. So that's easy enough. Well, four, I guess, because you need ender shard to craft the teleporter as well. However, we need two things, and that is blaze gold and a eutheric shard. Now, a eutheric shard drops from any rot mob. And I believe there's two or three different rot mobs based off the wiki that I read. And Blaze Gold is made from Blaze Bloom Goo. Now, Blaze Bloom Goo is very similar to how we used Primal Gel Goo earlier with the iron block. And then, yeah, so it'll work the exact same way. We put it beside a gold block and we will get raw Blaze Gold. And then we just need some lava, which is easy enough. Blaze Powder. I have not gotten Blaze Powder yet, have I? No, I have not. So we're gonna have to do a quick trip both to the nether and to the undergarden. Off to the dimensions we go. Wait, I'm sorry. Why is that one-shotting creepers? This has eight attack damage. In what universe does this one-shot a creeper? Hey, excuse me? Why does that one-shot creepers in any mobs? What? I feel like that's not right. I won't complain, but that's definitely bizarre. Nether complete. Now, as you saw, we got a ton of loot from the nether. The big things are really the tier upgrades for sophisticated storage, as well as all of our tin silver and stuff like that. Also, we are very overpowered. We one shot with our fist. Now, I don't know why. If someone knows why I'm one shotting with my fist, let me know. I'm going to report the bug on the Feed the Beast GitHub. But all I did go there for was some blaze gold and some blaze powder and some lava. And we did get both of those, so I'm going to chuck the blaze rods in the macerator and get the primal gel goo, do that, and nether wart and redstone. That's the assembler. Yeah, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I just kept clicking on it too, as if it was going to change. There's our blaze bloom goo. <laughs> and I'm going to assume this works like this and I should be able to surround it on all sides. Like so? Yeah, they will all corrupt. Oh, that looks really cool. So I will take the silk touch boat off. Now I have to head to the undergarden and get some eutheric shards. 
Now I'm just reading off the wiki here because I've never actually like explored or used the Undergarden to my advantage. I don't think there's a single mod pack I've ever played where the Undergarden is other than just collecting from the one swamp biome. There's the one swamp biome and then there is, is it Project Ozone you need to go to the Undergarden and do the Scarab quest? I think it's Project Ozone that's the Scarab quest. But yeah, other than that, I've never actually dealt with mob specifics and such, so that's cool. Oh, is this a rot? Oh, this is a rot mob. Perfect. Oh, and we got it immediately. Well, that was easy. Yeah, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Well, we have our etheric shards. That was, I was going to go on a whole montage, wait till I found them. Also, is this my, is this from me mining? Okay, that's from, from me mining. Oh, I hear another one. Cool. Yeah, that was very underwhelming, I will say. <laughs> While I'm here, I may as well collect some more, you know? Came all this way. Hey, right, come here. I'm gonna see if I can punch these guys. One shot. Yep, one shot. Yep, one shot. 36, 36. Yep. Yeah, no, there's definitely something slightly... Now, I won't say completely imbalanced, but slightly imbalanced about me doing 36 damage with a fist. Just an opinion. Not a fact, just an opinion. Also, while I'm out here, do you have any good trades? No, you don't. Cool. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Blaze gold should be done. Perfect. And now we can craft our teleporters, and I should have enough ender pearls. I did kill like five or six endermen while I was in the nether, but if not, we will go endermen hunting with our super fists. And craft another one, and then we'll go link it over there. Okay. So we'll do a simple teleporter here. So I probably want it like right here in all reality, because that's where I'm going to be going the most. So this is the linked one. I'm going to right click it in. Perfect. Okay. And then if I shift right click right in front of my E system. Okay. There we go. And awesome. Reading is important because yeah, this gives you a free ender teleporter. The Cooper nickel coils should be long polarized by now. <laughs> and we need rods, casing, and pump. Large pump for the quest once we get there, and then electrolyzer. Perfect. So with electrolyzer online and a hopper on top, I can grab all of our bauxite, and we have plenty. So this should make us a lot of aluminum. I'll throw it in here, and yeah, we're going to get aluminum dust now. Now to advance into the next age, I definitely want to get the better silicon online immediately, just because this will give us better uh rates for diodes and iodes what are they called transistors and diodes so yeah i definitely want to do this so the chemical reactor will be the next machine i want and this is everything we just made again pretty much i just need a large pump again <laughs> for some reason and then the hull also did this open this quest line no it doesn't oh you have to make an advanced machine hull you know what i will do that because this gives you eight large pumps and this gives you two large pumps and this gives you another advanced machine hall. So yeah, doing quests is definitely worth it in this pack. And that's the chemical reactor done. Ooh, in a quest for that. What do I get? I'm going to accept all of my quests. Ooh, pumps. Let's go. Okay, those are useful. Nice. Now I can actually make the non-doped silicon plates, which require aluminum dust, and the other one requires antimony. So I will grab antimony and aluminum. And it's probably good to make two of these, I'm going to be honest. I just don't have the electronic circuits to make two of them at the moment. However, at the moment, what I do want is to make the centrifuge and I have everything to make it other than machine hall so that's pretty easy I'll make three of those make a machine hall and I should be able to make the centrifuge nice and that should give us spinny go fast and we get some raw iron for that and another advanced machine hall it really just wants us to be able to upgrade all of our machines immediately which is actually really cool so basically the way these work is if I grab an advanced machine hall 
I can, which not right now because I only have LV power, but if I use an LV transformer to MV, I can make one to MV, probably. So LV to MV is actually very standard. And yeah, these can work. So we'll probably do this on some of our machines, probably the chemical centrifuge and chemical reactor, actually. And I will port MV this way and do MV machines over here. And we do have the cable running up right here, right here. Yeah. So this is where the cable runs up. So I'll probably do an LV transformer. I don't know, like right here. And then we'll do the machines that way. And with this guy, what we can do is throw the advanced machine holes inside right here. And now this is now an MV machine. So you see it has 12.8 KEU. Now it has 3.2. So basically you just throw whatever machine hole you want in there. And that's how you upgrade the machines. So eventually once we get to machine hall, where's the highest machine hall? The quantum, right? So once we throw a quantum machine hall, then we have all EV standard machines. But at the moment, all we do have is MV. So we'll grab that out, take this guy and make an LV transformer because I guess we can. I will do LV to MV transformer and we'll just do it through the wall for now. Very easy. Electrum like so. By all means, that should work. Yes, now we have MV through our Electrum wires. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to disconnect this just to make sure these don't... These do have power. Okay, wait. I'm just going to break them. Uh, that was a bit of wasted energy. I just want to make sure these won't connect before I throw them down. Okay, they didn't. I didn't think they would. Just had to make sure. But we'll do centrifuge and chemical reactor. Oh, wait. No, machine hole. Oh, I guess I can give it MV power and it won't explode. I shouldn't have tested that, but I did. Yeah, it just doesn't get power. Oh, okay, no explosions. Wow, okay, that could have been really bad. Also, we just get a bunch of redstone for free, which needs to be centrifuged again. So I might actually just make a second centrifuge and then pump it in. Hmm. Yeah, we'll probably do that actually. First, I do want a better silicon rate. However, I do want to get a ratio of which one I need more. So diodes require one non-doped and the transistors require two doped. Okay, so it's even. So you need two of each. Good to know. So we'll do 27 plus U. Wow, that's going to take a long time. Now I can make this pretty easily, right? The electric quarry. Let's see what I'm missing. I'm missing the circuit and that, obviously. Okay. Now I can make the electric quarry, should be able to. Nice. Oh, and it does give us steel drills as well. And I do kind of want to run it at MV. So I need an MV input, energy input hatch. I need one of those. And I also will need, what's the best item output hatch we can make at the moment? Probably not turbo. Highly advanced turbo, yeah. Okay, so the best one we can make at the moment is this. MV energy hatch input. And that means I also need item output hatch. Where did that go? Item output. I want this guy here, which means I also need another machine hull and then something like this. And if I do happier, okay, that should be all the advanced because I don't need a larger than steel item input, right? Because I only need so much drills going in anyways. So that should be fine. That I don't need anymore. I don't need fluid input because we're not doing steam power. That should be everything I need for the quest. Right, only one output. That is unfortunate. Hmm. You know what, I'm just gonna run the cables down the wall. I, I don't want this up here. It's gonna be a waste of electric cables, but I think in this corner down here is fine. Yeah, okay, it's the exact same blocks. Perfect. So, steel machine casing like so. And output. Can I put it anywhere? I can put it up top here. Okay, you know what, we'll do it right there. And I will do item input and item output on the sides. 
So item output is definitely useful there. And that gives us four output slots, which is very useful. And I will do item input here. Do both drills for now. And auto export, obviously. And what I'll do is run a wire through this wall. Because why not? Probably not the most effective way to do this. But I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to use the diamond upgrade we got from... Oh, this is basic to diamond. Oh, okay. I just got to make a regular... It's not gold to diamond. I will just make a regular sophisticated barrel then. Torch. There we go. We'll just do it this way then. And this should allow pretty good storage overall. Nice. And yeah, we'll do something like that. And this guy stopped working. Why did you stop working? Is it already out of power? Oh, it is. Oh, did I break the energy? No, it's... I definitely still have power going. I must have broke the connector somewhere. Probably that maze of mess up there. We'll see. Alright, now this should be working as intended. And I can add upgrades to this to process its EU per tick, which is nice. Also, this does have an efficiency meter, which means doing one of each drill is probably a, not the best idea. However, that is super cool. I will make uh, 32 more steel drills and 32 more gold drills. And then I will just let that go in the background. Well, I guess I'll make only a few more gold drills. Oh, those are kind of expensive. Oh, what do steel drills look like? Those are also expensive. Man, bronze drills were so cheap. It was just pipes, iron gears, and bronze drill heads. This requires circuits and motors. All right, well, not too big of a deal. We can make titanium drills, maybe? Nope, no, no, we can't. No, no, we can't. Aluminum drills we can make. And this will give us for virulent mix. But that is something we'll do in the oil drilling rig. Okay, I'm going to wrap up today's episode there. We went ahead and finished our electrical quarry to end it all off. We got MV machines going in the background. We set up our EBF in the back up. We have a fancy new teleporter to get between our base. And we have a few more extra machines going in the background there to get us some better resources. But yeah, we got a decent amount done. We went exploring, got a bunch of loot. And had a good time so if you guys did enjoy this episode leave a like on the video it means a lot if you learned something or if you would like to teach me something about modern industrialization or the pack or if you know why i have god fists leave that in the comments below it'd be much appreciated and if you guys don't want to miss any future uploads from me or anything else in the series hit that subscribe button thanks everybody for watching Bye bye